What's up, everybody? I just wanted to go over a few things about um, post clear coating and fixing up my front end with paint and uh, rust oleum um, versus the rear end, which I have yet to even do because I'm lazy after going, you know, off roading and stuff. So, this has not been done at all. It's very gritty. And this up here has been done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the pressure washer and see basically the differences in, in you know why you would want to coat your whole underside so it makes it very very easy to wash off. Yes, I am using an electric pressure washer, which is absolutely amazing. So here's the interior, the inside, the front. So that knocked off all of it. Very, very easy. Still has a nice smooth feel, no grit. And it was just a very easy, just kind of done. So let's get in here and look at the underneath. Didn't really get too much up here. Got some right here. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this and see uh, how easy it comes off as well. And then we'll hit the back. Uh, so here's the back of the Jeep. It's pretty gnarly, pretty nasty. It's pretty thick and coated on there. So we'll go ahead and hit it and then we'll take a look at it. but there's still a lot of dry stuff on here it didn't just fall off I kind of had to really like etch it off like you can still see where you can kind of smear it around whereas up here I mean there's absolutely there's nothing so what's gonna happen is this is gonna dry and it's going to be all foggy looking or up there it's just going to be nice and shiny. So um, that's kind of the difference in why you want to coat it because the dirt just, just falls right off. And a secret to it is also keeping your Jeep clean, the suspension and everything is every now and then, you know, every so many miles or, you know, every time, not every time you wash it, but hit it with some WD-40 and it will keep it nice and coated and that way every time you go to spray it and wash it it's just gonna all the stuff's just gonna fall right off of it and it keeps the squeaking and stuff down too so but i'm gonna continue to wash the jeep i got this door done uh, i'm not gonna get to scrub it tonight it's getting dark pretty quick so um also with these tires you know if you leave them like this they do tend to get stained really bad. So um, I'll let me just show you a remedy that I use really quick that cleans it up just like night and day and it'll look like a brand new tire. All right, so I use this uh, bleach white tire cleaner. This stuff works. I mean, you don't wanna leave it on too long. So you're gonna spray it and then it's literally instantly you're just gonna see stuff just oozing off. But first off, you want to like hit with a pressure washer or high, you know, water hose or something like that. Um, the first go around, use a scrub brush. 
and I, I scrub it with it on there. I kind of scrub it off and I respray it with water and then I go around one more time on it and I spray it off again and then I go back with a tire shine just a Dollar General. I think it's like three dollars there so um, yeah I don't really spend a lot of money on tire shine but I want to do I just get the cheap stuff. Anyway so we're gonna go and hit this tire and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's sit for just a minute. Let's do the process of me draw it off. And then uh, do the power shot. There you go that's my process how i clean my tires and keep them looking nice and pristine and clean and getting the stains out um so we got a couple more to go but uh i'm gonna continue to wash my jeep thanks for tuning in this is just a little tidbit video i want to give you guys peace out take care keep jeeping Daddy's Jeep clean? Yeah. No? Do I need to keep cleaning it? Yeah. Okay.